A year ago, you wouldn't have said that. A year ago, I couldn't have taken bike trips to like this. You're not taking a bike trip now, you're taking unicycles! Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, Russells? Welcome to the Norwood Suite, a game by Cosmo D. And this is actually a sequel to a game called Off Peak. And before you ask, yes, I did actually play Off Peak a couple of years back. Uh, only did one episode, wasn't really much interest in it. But I wanted to see what this game had in store. Because the other one was just a walking simulator showing off some music and, and some trippy scenery. And I don't know what I was just doing with my hands, but I wanted to share with you my experience in exploring this new game. And see how far down the rabbit hole people are interested in going this time. So, without further ado, let's check out the Norwood Suite. Hmm? First of all... And so we arrive at our destination. Okay. The Hotel Norwood. Where? All the way back there? I left a hotel voucher for you in the cave up the hill. What? Why? You are a weird individual, lady. Why didn't you just hand it to me? Present it at the front desk and it'll get you a free room. Trust me, you'll fit right in. What are you, what are you saying about me, lady? Hmm? The payment won't be wired to you until tomorrow. I feel like we're missing some information here, lady. What, what, what am I doing? One thing to know about the Hotel Norwood. Everyone's looking for something here. So in a sense, it's not just me you're working for. I'm... I'm working for you? I think I've got a clue. Why are you munching on chocolate with a doctor's mask on? This... I am just made of questions at this point, and we've barely even started the game. So... Defook! <laughs> Uh, but uh, judging from the eyeball around her neck, I'm suspecting she is Private Eye, and I am working for Private Eye, which makes me Private Eye. Is that a statue or a human? All right, all right, anyway. Good luck. We believe in you. Who's we? Is that the city from the first one? The city with the train station? There's a train. All right, so, uh, in the cave. She just peeled off without me. All right. What a sassy biscuit. Is that... You can observe certain items by clicking on them. Oh, okay. Thank you. DJ Bogart, Chad Blueprint. Costume mandatory. Oh. Do I, I need a cup? I drink it with every meal. Every single one. Blue Moose, all nat natural energy beverage. Revitalizer, stay. Blue Moose rather than a Red Bull. Okay, I get it. Ha 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 ha. The bass is super thumpy. Everyone's obsessed with music in this world. Why not? Whoa. Excuse me? Well. There's no su there's no sneaking into this place with giant floodlights of sunglass statues. What the? F That's clever. I like it. It's just weird. All right. Now then, what are you that is bubbling so bubbly? Some items can be picked up. I assumed that. A helmet! I've got a cyclist's helmet. What was it doing just laying on the ground rather than somebody actually needing it? You can eavesdrop on conversations or interrupt them. Because I can. Because I'm a sneaky ding dong. We should have never taken that left turn. 
But look where we are, Marty. The Norwood Hotel. The Hotel Norwood? You usually don't act so surprised. I read about this place a few times. Music, history, textbooks, album, liner notes. The name Norwood comes up a lot. Um. Okay. Any new maps? Well, maybe I wanted to find this place. But Hans, why? DJ Bogart's party, of course. Who the hell is DJ Bogart? And why were you guys traveling via unicycle? You know what? I should learn not to question these random ass things. Buttons can be pushed. Should we push the button? I, I, I'm kind of tempted to push the button. I also want to know how this sculpture came to be. And why all the... Okay. Still can't jump. All right, whatever. Poo bitty poo. Notice, due to recent incidents on Lover's Bridge, the bridge will remain closed until further notice. Nadia, the management. <laughs> okay, but what if I push this button that's been tempting me since I saw it? Push? Oh. It just lights up the apple. Fancy. Get us through the night. Otherwise, this place is just too expensive for us. A year ago, you wouldn't have said that. A year ago, I couldn't have taken bike trips to like this. You're not taking a bike trip now. You're taking unicycles. And based on the fact that she has a... Based on context clues, I think I picked up his helmet. Excuse me. You look sort of familiar. Okay, yeah, um... Do I? You, Your guys' eyelashes are really starting to freak me out. Who are you? Um... Hi, I, I'm just some nobody on the internet. Uh, you, you may have seen some of my videos. Actually, have you seen my helmet? Yes! You left it down the hill. I must have dropped it on the way up here. Yes, because you... For some reason, weren't wearing it. You need to actually start wearing your helmets, hands. Oh! So yeah, you weren't thinking safety first. This is a dangerous sport. Ugh. Yeah, the helmet. This helmet, that. Huh? Helmet this, helmet that. Do you want your helmet or not? Or am I just gonna take it? Fine, whatever. I'll, I'll just keep it. Hello? Click on the... Am I already entering? That's actually very clever. I like it. Turtle! Giant ass tortoise. With a... Can I see it in the next window? Yeah. What the hell's up with your schnaz? Give me the key. I'll take the key. The aquarium storage box key. Okay. Which goes there. <gasps> the voucher I needed. And what are you? Gate control battery. Ooh. Well, aren't I being crafty? Or I actually kind of need it in order to... in order to use and there power that bitch up now I can I want to hold your hand thank you oh whoa <laughs> How much did they spend on on carving these sculptures and and creating that? This is wackiness. It's crazy, crazy goofiness. Hello. Who are you, cowboy? Click on the drawer and hold down the mouse button. Greetings, stranger. I see you picked up that voucher there. Uh, yep. 
Good, you'll need it to get a room at the hotel. Dottie and Sandro at the front desk, they'll help you check in. Well, they'll try anyway. And my brother Dustin, he runs the concierge. He'll help you with everything else. Just as a warning though, people might mistake you for one of the staff. Don't take it personally, you just have the look. You might want to even consider lending a helping hand. We could use it. Dustin at the concierge will guide you there. Real professional operation here at the Hotel Norwood. Ha! Ah. Well, okay, thank you. Click. Works on all drawers and cabinets. Interesting tutorial going on here. I've got a... Should I... I guess I can't take the book, but anyway. Um... Thank you, sir! Just don't tell Nadia I said that. Okay. You picked an active night to drop in on the hotel, stranger. Did I? This party tonight downstairs in the hotel basement. DJ Bogart is about to play his 300th consecutive weekend gig. Wow, does he ever get a rest? Think about it. A show every weekend? The guy's a machine. What if he is? What if that's the mystery that I'm supposed to be investigating? I still remember when he had to beg for gigs. He says they laughed it. They'd laughed him out of the city. Okay. But Nadia, in her infinite wisdom, gave him a shot. Sees things the rest of us don't, that Nadia. She knew he'd put the Hotel Norwood back on the map. That's why she gets that nice cushy office and I'm stuck watching over that a damn parking lot. Okay, well, um... You know what? I'm not... I, enjoy your parking lot stuff. There is way too much going on with that guy. I do not need to listen to his emotional baggage. Oh god, now what? Oldman! You look familiar. Ah, the service at last. Um... I... Uh, I guess he's not kidding about having the look. The Hotel Norwood will serve their guests anywhere on the lo grounds, Lucy. Are you sure this person is even affiliated with the hotel, Courtney? Haha, <laughs> your name is Courtney. Absolutely. In fact, could you bring us a six-pack of m Blue Moose? I'm parched. You know you could get us in trouble for harassing other guests, Courtney. Nonsense! Oh boy. Blue Moose, please! But just so we're clear, the Modulo is not tipping staff this weekend. Well, you cheap-ass bitch! I don't think I like anything about you, sir. Um, okay, so party transport Z that is a long ass hippie wagon. Anyway. What did I just stumble across? An egg? In all the sound system stuff. Sh I, I should probably close this. I can't close this. I am in deep o dookie. You know what? Just, alright. I'll just go. Whoa. Why does someone have a baby demon in their trunk? These people are carrying some weird stuff in their trunks. Honestly, this is the least oddball thing I've seen yet. Wait, can I... can I open this? The one vehicle I want to get into to see, and I uh, can't do it. Oh, it's locked, you clever butts. 
But the percent cars are not. I can just... <laughs> Moving on! Eternal Grandma's Hot Dogs. <laughs> Someone's gonna have a barbecue at the Ren Fair. Fine by me. Modulo. Company handbook. So these are all company cars. I'm not really doing anything. Why? Really? He can't stop singing your praises. Um... Oh, I totally passed this up. This is where we need to go. All right. They're not going to stop me from looking in their own trunk, are they? They're too busy talking amongst themselves, thinking how... how impressive they are. What? Whipped cream and pizza? I think they... I think they're obsessed with the old... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon, but whatever. Okay. Do some more exploring. We just barely got to this place. And I think... Got some crazy digs here. Whoa. Well, who you be? Hey, Dot, it looks like we have a late night arrival. Why do you look like a Cro Magnon? Dotty! Sandro? You don't have to shout at me. Your hearing aids aren't in. I left him in my room. Sue me. So you're looking to book a room, eh? From the looks of you, it's probably out of your price range. Unless you feel like putting this stranger up in the Norwood suite, eh, Dottie? Again with the Norwood suite, Sandro. You know this suite is off limits. I'm just saying. And I'm just saying your, our rooms aren't for the likes of you. Perhaps the stranger can give us something in exchange for room? We'll see. In the meantime, the party bus leaves at 6 a.m. to take you back to the city. A bit brusque, Dottie. Hey, it's late. If this vagrant can't give us something in exchange, then we're done here. Good night. <sighs> uh, what's wrong with your arm, dude? In fact, I'm I'm very concerned about the your build in general. As your concierge, my job is to provide answers should uncertainty arise. My brother told me of your arrival, stranger. If you're so inclined, allow me to offer a few words of guidance. I see you have yourself a rare hotel voucher. It will surely get you a room at the hotel. Show it to my colleagues over there. They can't refuse if you... They can't refuse you the full Norwood treatment now. Ha! Throughout this place, there are other guests and assorted attendees. I would assist them myself, but this book... This book has me in a sweet embrace. If you want to make yourself useful, you ought to approach these guests... Find out what they want on behalf of the hotel. Who knows, you might even be rewarded for your trouble. I hear that's how it works these days. I'll be able to guide you further if you meet anyone of specific interest. Okay, cool. All right, um, so, oh wait, I've got this borch. Well, it looks like our late night arrival has a hotel voucher. A voucher, eh? Let's take a look at that. We need to have a room ready pronto. So you're due for a night stay, eh? That's what I said, Dottie. You need to remember to wear those hearing aids. Not with that racket coming out of the basement. That voucher needs to be redeemed online. We'll hold on to it for 
for you while you redeem it. There's a computer behind you to the left of the front door. This weekend is particularly strict on protocol with... What with the impending board meeting. No need to remind me, Sandro. I've been dreading it. Well, we still have a little time before the modulo makes its move, Dottie. Let's not talk about hotel business in public, Sandro. We have a guest to check in. Okay, um... I could sit here forever and listen to these conversations, or... I could... Whoa. You know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna sign... How... How... Where? Oh, there we go. Big ass power button. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Lunxis wireless router. Uh, 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 I used to have one of those. Alright. Now. Nah. Do I... No. Meow. Why is there a hand in a jar? Oh, there we go. I The actual computer. Wait. Son of a butt. What? Get rid of you. Put you in. Now. There we go. No Wi-Fi. Slut. How do I Wi-Fi? Um. Close you. Oh, there's another drawer. A Wi-Fi? What is... Wait. What? What about... What? I am all kinds of confused. How do I... What is the blue one for, even? Is that... Well, this is gonna be a long-ass night, isn't it? Anyway, Rascals, this is just a taste of the adventure that's to come. Uh, if you guys want to see more, let me know by leaving a comment down below. If you liked this one, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.